What's up guys, Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome back to MX Bikes. We're today going to play a new track, TC's Cortland Dunes in MX Bikes today. This is actually Gopher Dunes in Canada. So if you don't know what Gopher Dunes is, it's a very famous sand track in uh, the southern part of Canada in Ontario, just kind of like southwest of uh, Toronto and I guess geographically between like Michigan and New York State in uh, the US and just that little part of Canada that kind of hangs down, that's where it is. And it's called Cortland Dunes in this game because it's in Cortland, Ontario. And I think TC just wanted to call it Cortland Dunes. So it was a little bit different than the Gopher Dunes name. Uh, but that's just a little bit of the background of it. We're going to play the main track on this compound today. There's also an enduro track. We're going to do a separate video for that because the enduro track is amazingly good. Uh, but shout out to TC for allowing me to play the track a little bit early. Show it off for you guys. This is going to be on the MX Bike shop page. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to be, but I do it's a uh, paid mod on MX bike shop. So be sure to check it out. Definitely support the creators that make this game what it is. And let's jump in, ride the track a little bit. Uh, I don't expect that I'm going to show off this track all too well, because first of all, I'm not that great at the game compared to other people that you most likely watch play MX bikes. And second of all, it's a sand track, which is arguably maybe the, the, the worst surface that I am <laughs> on this game, but we'll try to make it work. And uh, I'll talk you guys through a couple things. Uh, first of all, like I said, because it's a sand track, the surface is, it's kind of like slippery, but also it's got like quite a bit of resistance to it as well. Like you can definitely feel it when you're riding and like you expect it to, uh, you know, be able to carry momentum from section to section a little bit better in certain areas. But because it's that sandy surface, you, you're kind of going a lot slower than you almost expect to be going. So. Because of that, you almost have to ride harder than you want to in some regards. Like I definitely have to push from corner to corner to really feel like I'm moving any direction. And that's definitely not my style in this game. Like I'm really not good at absolutely wide open everywhere and, and trying to hang off the back of the bike and stuff. I'm definitely more of a finesse guy, but that's how you have to ride this track for sure. So I'm gonna do my best to make it look halfway decent today, but I also suspect I will struggle a little bit. Um, either way, this is, this is a really awesome project here. Uh, by TC goes by typical Canadian and uh, obviously being Canadian I guess is uh, a little bit of the motivation behind wanting to build this track and to me I feel like he did a perfect job encapsulating what a sand track should feel like in a video game anyway um, I know that you know there's certain limitations that we have with video games where like you can't have every little pixel of dirt move the way that sand should and uh, have corners kind of blow out the way that they should and so on and so forth but bikes obviously has the road system in it a little bit and this track definitely can wear in a little bit but it's also just a great like starting point for a sand track as well with the way that the ruts are lined up the way that the corners flow uh, how many ruts that he has in every corner as well really lends to the flow of the track because if you get a little bit offline it's kind of nice to not like feel like you're going to be screwed over by going into a corner where there's nothing you can bank off of like even if you end up further outside too far inside or whatever there's always going to be like some sort of rut for you to hit and i think that that is a really nice like way of kind of putting a track like this together and i think tc did a good job of of kind of making that work the way it should so um, overall a, a great package in terms of a track i think it's uh pretty much one of the better sand tracks i've ever played i'm trying to think of another sand track that i really like but I, i'm drawing a blank right now um, you know, I know there's been a few that have been released and some of the ones that have been, you know, really like Mantova is a sort of sand track and it was a JV track, which JV's always done really good stuff. And so Mantova is pretty good, but it's not like full sand. Like I would take this one more as like a real full sand track that has a, you know, a depth to it. Like you're not riding just floating on top of a surface that is holding you back. Like I feel that I'm actually getting buried into the ground a little bit at times on this track. And I think that that um, is needed to have a good feel for a sand track regardless. So it doesn't feel like you're just, you know, like riding on top of a hard surface that happens to be slowing you down. You're actually riding in something that, you know, is digging the tire in and making life a little bit more difficult for you. And, uh, you know, roll resistance friction wise, all that stuff that he's done to the traction has made this totally feel like that to me. Um, you still definitely have to ride it I think a little bit different than you would maybe expect a sand track should ride just because there is a little bit more of that like rough and tumble hard surface bumps that you're going to go over like little chop and stuff here and there uh, and obviously the big rollers but the big rollers is what makes it like going back to just MX Sim stuff for me I was a really good uh, sand rider in Sim at least I felt like it uh, and somehow I turned into the worst 
sand rider in bikes, at least by my opinion. But, uh, you know, in Sim, the thing that made sand tracks good in that game is you had consistent rollers because Sim, obviously, more so than MX bikes, doesn't have the ability to, like, dig down into the dirt and create that uh, extra feeling. And so when you have that, you know, steady, consistent flow of rollers, it feels much more like a sand track because you're almost, like, rhythmically, rhythmically doubling through stuff. Um, so like every straightaway, every corner, everything like that feels kind of like a small rhythm section. And if you have more of those braking bumps, then it takes away that vibe of what a sand track should feel like. In my opinion, I don't have like a Southwick or something like that, that I grew up riding near me, but I grew up riding sand washes in the desert and I grew up riding very, very sandy conditions, uh, in certain areas here in Southern California. And those sand washes have the same vibe. Like if you have big rollers through the sand washes, big kind of whoops almost, it's way more fun to connect that together in sand than it is to have the sand where just beneath the surface is that little bit of kind of chop and you have the bike kind of teetering around on top of that chop as you're trying to like layer into the sand as well, but you're also getting held back by the sand that's on that top layer holding you down a little bit. Very similar to what Millville uh, feels like from what I've heard people talk about it. And so I don't know the surface 100% at Gopher Dunes, but I've seen the National there on TV enough to know that it does look like a real true sand track that doesn't necessarily have that base layer always come through. It probably does a little bit, but uh, to me, I feel like TC basically hit the nail on the head with all of those things that I mentioned. It has that kind of roller feeling. It does have a couple of those breaking bumps and chop shine through that probably comes through in some of the harder base surfaces of the track, but also the rest of it, just feels like a sand track should. It's it's flowy, it's fast. Uh, you definitely have to be on the throttle and kind of like lightweight, almost putting the front tire on top of everything, like much more rear tire base than front tire on everything and uh, carry your speed wisely and sharply through the track. And yeah, overall just, man, put together such a good track that has that exact flow that I'm hoping to feel when I load up a sand track in this game. And, uh, kudos to him for doing that. Finally, I decided to go outside there and realize that it's way faster and you can actually jump all the way over that tabletop. I've done maybe like 15 laps on this track so far and uh, it took me that long to figure out to go outside. I'm happy thus far that I've also not crashed as much. So I am accurately showing off this track and doing, doing a nice job so far. I'm gonna do one more lap on this track and then I'm gonna go just do like some really quick exploring because there's a couple other quick tracks that are on this facility. Uh, like I said, so this is a real facility in real life um, in Cortland, Ontario, and it has multiple tracks on it. In fact, if you even go to the Gopher Dunes website, like it shows you all the different tracks that they have on it. They have like a little supercross track. They have like kind of a vet track, sort of like a peewee track dealio. And then they obviously have the Enduro loop as well, which is, uh, it's gonna be a whole different video. I promise you the Enduro loop that TC has created on this track is one of the coolest, well, most well put together tracks that uh, I maybe ever played. And so I told TC who for, you know was nice enough to give me early access to this. I'm like, look, man, I, I got to run out this afternoon. Like I'm not going to be back in my house for like three days after this. I will get a Enduro video out for you because that track is, is good and deserving of it. But wanted to obviously sit down and actually play the main track, which is kind of the, the key catalyst of this, right? Like it's uh, the one that uh, most people will know this track as is this main track because you've probably seen it from the Canadian Nationals from time to time or maybe you've just heard about it maybe you've never even watched the Canadian Nationals but I'm sure at some point in time you've heard of Gopher Dunes because I feel like it's almost brought up uh, at least on the American side as like hey if you want to go if you're a sand guy and you want to go up to Canada that's the race you should do and for a lot of people that are like sand guys they're either Florida or uh, from the Northeast like the you know Massachusetts gang and stuff like that this is also a close track to that because it's more East Coast Canada being in Ontario and also you know, pretty South in Canada being closer to the US. So that's, I guess to me, why culturally I hear this track reference a little bit more often than maybe some of the other ones like Prince George, which are a little bit further North and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, pretty cool dealio. So shout out to TC for this track. Let's go ahead and explore the rest of this compound a little bit. I'm gonna go over here and jump out of the facility just for a second. So we can go along this little road right here. Hey, also shout out, he built a little SYS semi right there looking froggy fresh. He also put a bunch of cars right here and put the yellow and orange cars 
basically all together amidst the black cars. I don't know if he's uh, trying to signal something or if he's doing some Morse code or what have you. But here's another one of the tracks. I believe this is like classified as like the Pee Wee track, and you can see why quite simply because the jumps are all pretty small. And I, you can tell that uh, this one, he didn't put the same level of effort and detail into as he did on the main track. But honestly, he doesn't need to because these types of tracks, these Pee Wee tracks, and even the Supercross track we'll go over to in just a second, check out. Um, when you go to them in real life, <laughs> uh, you notice that they are not also worked on as much as the main tracks because that is not really where they make their money. But to me, that's silly. I feel like they should try to promote uh, good, fast, fun, flowy peewee tracks for the kids that are getting into the sport, in my opinion. Even so, still nice little easy, simple track. Like what I, I would say this is a good track for is just kind of learning uh, flat ground landing because there's a lot of singles that just jump out to like nothing. So if you're struggling with that, you're bouncing a lot when you're landing on flat ground, the first thing I'd recommend to try is always land on your rear tire. Uh, but the other thing is you could try a track like that where it has all these kind of single jumps and you can get really, really good in a short amount of time, I feel like, at doing you know, flat ground landings, landing on that rear tire, practicing getting the nose high, uh, putting it down where it needs to be and stuff like that. So let's go check out the Supercross track over here and uh, jumping right onto it right away here. I, uh, I'm running stock suspension just because I wanted to for outdoors. I have a Supercross setup, so I could maybe, I guess, make this track look slightly better if I jump to my other setup real quick, but whatever, we'll just run it stock and keep shred butting out here. He also said uh, to probably ride most of these tracks on a 250 because he built it more with a 250, but um, you know, I'm sure people will also figure out ways to absolutely rip on a 450 on this track, but it definitely, the Supercross track for sure fits the 250 better. Like. I feel like this is a really tight track and the 450 would basically not over jump every jump, but it just wouldn't feel as fun having to turn down so tight and uh, still, you know, kind of short up to jumps and stuff like that. Fun little supercross track though, like nothing overly spectacular about it and honestly kind of like low key, but it's almost what I would expect out of a little Canadian supercross track on the side of a main track like that. Because uh, yeah, I don't know, supercross isn't, as big in Canada as it is in the States. And so you don't have like a treasure trove of talent going out and testing Supercross every week. But that's why uh, down here in SoCal, we have like three tracks that have main tracks and Supercross tracks on them. But uh, yeah, this is the Supercross track. And then the Enduro Cross, or the Enduro track, I should say, is just in the trees off to the right, right there, which also, I don't know how accurate the Enduro loop is that he included on this compound. We'll get to it, like I said, in another video. It's super long. And I do know there is an Enduro loop at uh, Gopher Dunes. So maybe I'll do a little bit of research before I do the actual video on the Enduro loop to see how accurate it is. But uh, I can tell you it's a lot of fun and can't wait to share that track with you as well. Hey, I'm actually kind of shredding the Supercross track a little bit. I'm looking like I kind of know what I'm doing out here. <laughs> um, but anyway, shout out again to TC for uh, giving me a little bit of an early sneak peek at this track, letting you guys see this track. And definitely one of those ones that I would highly recommend heading over to the MX Bike Shop page and downloading and, and having a good time. I feel like this is one of those tracks I could definitely see turning into like a, a pretty common track that ends up being raced uh, in little local series races and stuff like that. And overall, just a ter terrific job by uh, TC for you know putting this track together and making one of these fun little ones for us to check out here today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll include the download link in the description or the, the link to the download, I should say, because you obviously need to pay for it. But I'll include that link when it is available on the MX Bike Shop page. Um, but thanks again for tuning in to another video here on Star Your System. Shout out again to TC. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next one. So long for now.